let's talk about i have a top 20 for 1992 should we do a top 10 i feel I like probably yeah. do t- i could probably do 10 yeah, yeah let's do a top 10 we'll go back and forth as right, we do who's starting? i'll start so first honorable mention to alien 3 i just did my fincher rewatch and i i quite liked alien 3 oh by the way that's for the assembly cut of alien 3 <laughs> Make that clear. Uh, my number 10 is The Mighty Ducks. Helio Estevez, directed by Stephen Herrick and the beginning of a pretty good trilogy of sports movies for kids. I really enjoy The Mighty Ducks. Uh, number 10 for me is a sports movie of a different kind. It is Ron Shelton's White Men Can't Jump. Never did it. Oh, it's it's just funny. I think it's really, really funny. Uh, my number nine is Juice. The Tupac Shakur, Omar Epps movie um, directed by Ernest Dickerson. Really good movie about uh, three young guys, you know, hustling and then terrifying things happening between them. Like really scary. Tupac is like really scary in this movie. Highly recommend. In fact, you could like, it's not a horror movie. It's very much a, a drama thriller, but there are some like really scary moments in this movie. It's very good. Never seen that. Yeah. Add it to the list. Number nine for me is Andrew Davis's Under Siege. The height of Steven Seagal's power and probably one of the only good movies he's ever been in. (laughs) But this movie is really good. And uh, Andrew Davis would go on the next year to direct one of my all-time favorite movies, The Fugitive. So he's a very good director. I've never seen Under Siege, but we do have an episode of my radio play podcast, Too Old to Date, that is about Under Siege. That's right. Um, (laughs) I did not write that show myself. And my writing partner, Michael Tanzillo, wrote a very funny episode about Under Siege. That was funny. Or about watching Under Siege. Okay, cool. My number eight is Wayne's World. I don't think more needs to be said. This is the best SNL movie by far, maybe. Uh, Really watched it recently. This holds up. It's really fun. Agree. My number eight is uh, Scent of a Woman, the movie Al Pacino finally won his Oscar for. I do not like that movie. I watched it recently for the first time and thought it was absurd. (laughs) There are definitely absurdist points in it. Yes, for sure. Um, My number seven is A Few Good Men. Ah, Nice. My number seven is one again we don't have to say a whole lot about is Aladdin. That's my number five. Nice. My number six is Reservoir Dogs, Quentin Tarantino's first feature directing movie. My number six is Reservoir Dogs. Very nice. All right. Like I said, my number five is Aladdin. Uh, my number five is Wayne's World. <laughs> my number four is Batman Returns, Tim Burton's superior, the top apex of Tim Burton's superhero movies. I love this weird, sexy movie. <laughs> I like that one a lot, too. But my number four is A Few Good Men. Cool. My number three is Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, directed by James Foley, starring Al Pacino, Jack Lemmon, Alec Baldwin, Alan Arkin, Ed Harris, Kevin Spacey, Jonathan Price. Just one of the greatest movies in a room of all time. Gosh, I don't have that on my letterbox. It must have been a long time since I've seen that. But man, that that should be on my list. Yeah, I guess I just need to watch it again so I can letterbox it. Because yeah, that movie's great. But unfortunately, it's not on my list right now. Uh, Number three I have is A League of Their Own. That's a great one. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in long. And it's I, for me, it's the same as your deal with Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. I just I, I don't have it logged. Um, yeah. But I've seen that movie probably 15 times. Yeah, it's great. Uh, my number two is The Player. My number two is The Player. My number one is My Cousin Vinny. Oh, great. That's another one. I haven't uh, I haven't letterboxed, but I've definitely seen it. And I really, really like that movie a lot. I've been trying to get my wife to watch it because I think she would like it, too. It's so much fun. It's directed by Jonathan Lynn, stars Joe Pesci and Ralph Macchio, Marissa Tomei, and her Oscar, Oscar, Oscar winning role <laughs> with really good supporting performances from Mitchell Whitfield, Fred Gwynn, Lane Smith, Austin Pendleton and Bruce McGill. I just recently learned that Bruce McGill is still alive, which was pretty surprising. Thank the Lord, yes. I'm very happy. Most of the other people I just mentioned are dead. Mitchell Whitfield's still alive. He's he's young. But uh, a lot of those guys are are great older actors who have since passed away. One of the greatest comedies of all time. Yeah, it's excellent. Uh, and then my number one is the uh, oft mentioned on this episode, Unforgiven. Right. I just haven't seen it in uh, recently enough to have rated it. So that's 1992. Thanks for hearing us talk about all these movies. They're really fun and good, and we recommend them all. 